This is Sam Tolley, and time is short for all of us, whether you believe it or not. Now, our existence as a human being is only temporal. So each one of us, every day we live, we're getting closer to that last day that we live. And if the Lord comes back while we're living, then that time is over there too. Time is limited. We can't waste the time. We're supposed to redeem the time. And those of us that claim to be in the body of Christ are supposed to make the most of the time. We're supposed to be preaching the gospel. We're supposed to be searching out those that are lost and bring them to Christ. Hopefully, open up their eyes. But we have a big problem, a really huge problem, of people inside the church that are not trusting Christ. And many people get upset with me because I talk politics a lot. But if, you, if those same people read their Bible, they will see that politics are throughout the Bible. Either your theology is going to govern your politics or your politics is going to govern your theology. And the Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. Well, here we are in the 21st century in the United States of America. We have a political party. That is anathema to God. The Democratic Party seems like it's determined to eviscerate, eradicate everything about Christianity, everything that God has ordained. And yet, we have many Christians that are subject to, loyal to, and constantly vote for the Democratic Party. I have been asking them for weeks now, give me justification, give me biblical, not your personal, not your insights. God never asked us our opinion. He asked for our obedience. I want biblical justification for supporting sodomy, supporting transgenderism, supporting homosexuality, supporting killing babies in the womb, supporting pornography for little kids in school. I want biblical justification for that. Now, the first thing they say is, I don't support any of that stuff. You live under a representative government. The people that you vote for are supposed to represent your thoughts and ideas in our government. And if you are constantly voting for people that support those things, you, by your vote, support those things. And I know many people that are Democrats that say they're Christians that vote that way. And they get up in arms when you say they're not a Christian. Well, I'm not saying you're not a Christian. I'm asking you to biblically justify voting against God. Because time is short. And, and the Bible says without faith it's impossible to please God. And, and the way I see it, the way I see it, the way you guys are voting consciously consecutively and, and, and by the way if you don't like the other side don't vote at all but by your vote what you're actually saying is this you are trusting Satan to do the things that you think God should do oh you say you don't believe in all those those things like sodomy and homosexuality transgenderism abortion pornography and whatnot but those other things, those social things or whatever that you need to be done, that's why you vote for these people. So in essence, you're saying that God can't accomplish it without going through those people. And by going through those people who are fundamentally doing the work of Satan, you are trusting Satan to do what God should be doing. Without faith, it is impossible to please to please God. And you are not trusting God. But you want to sit over there and praise Him. So it's what Jesus said also. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Time is short. Trust God to do what God will do. Don't fall for the tricks of the devil. That's stupid. The Bible is clear. Jesus said, if you love me, 
you will obey my commandments. It's the Sam Tolley.